What's up guys, Jenny Streeby here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to get the scrunch rope braid updo. Now this literally takes five minutes or less. Let's get started. Okay, so today we're gonna be focusing on a lot of air professional products. The first crystal infused hair care line. We're gonna be really focusing on the texture air. This is a dry texturizing spray, which is gonna add a lot of grit and texture to your hair. It is my go-to for sure. So the sections here, we're gonna go ahead and clip away the front for later and then work with the back first. We're gonna take this section at a slight diagonal. That way it just kind of flows into the hair a little bit better. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so now we're gonna take our texture air and spray it kind of all over. I'm gonna focus a little bit on the root area too. We're gonna gather the hair, kind of low occipital bone, just right below it. Take our fingers here, just kind of comb it out. Now take a hair elastic and create a ponytail. Now we're gonna hold on to this hair elastic and just pinch and pull little pieces up for some fullness and an erratic texture. Okay, so the hair that's left out, we're gonna divide it in half and create a rope braid. Twist one side to the right, up and over to the left. Twist one side to the right, up and over to the left. Continue until we get to the ends and we're gonna secure it with a hair elastic. We're gonna pull out the rope braid a little bit. Now we're gonna hold on to little baby ends of the hair that's left out of the rope braid and we're simply gonna scrunch it up and grab other baby ends, scrunch it up. Now we're gonna fold it over creating that messy bun. You can see the ends are right here. I'm gonna secure into place first by simply taking bobby pin on the left-hand side, working to the right. And when you're applying your bobby pins, you just wanna to go towards the hair elastic. So now we're gonna take the ends here and just wrap them around. So what's great about this, it's structured, but still kind of messy. And that rope braid's gonna help allow it to kind of stay in place. Now we're gonna release our side sections here. All right, so now I'm gonna take the Flexible Hold Air Spray. What's nice about this, it's a very lightweight hairspray. The more and more you use, the harder it will become. So we're gonna just take the sections on the sides, spray a little bit, and then we just run my fingers through it. So it adds that kind of separation. I'm gonna twist it slightly, pull some pieces down that we want, maybe some softness around the face, and then we're gonna pin it on the opposite side. You can see here. So I'm just gonna take the end of this twist and you kind of push it together, taking your bobby pin and then pushing it down towards our little base. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Now we're just gonna pull out these little twists a little bit. Again, building that hold with our flexible hold hairspray here by air. And then you can really personalize it how you see fit. You can leave these tendrils down, you can pull them up. I kind of just gonna push them into the updo a little bit. 
So they're not dangling, but there's a little bit more structure. So you can see how the hairspray, the more and more we use it, it's becoming a little bit harder. All right, to finish this look off, I'm gonna use some Shine Spray by Air Professional. It's my fave way of finishing all my upstyles. This is actually really weightless. It's a very soft oil, and what that's gonna really allow the hair to do is soften the cuticle and help um, get rid of any of those little flyaways or frizzies. This is infused with mica, which is really cool. And just kind of pull some pieces out, how you see fit. Maybe another little tendril over here. You can always recurl some of these pieces if you'd like. Turn her around so you guys can see. And that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.